Hello and welcome. It's Derek Tafuma again of DerekTafuma.com. This video is about Ulysses. Okay, Ulysses is a platform uh, which is a writing tool and it says on their website, this is their website, it is the ultimate writing app for Mac, iPad and iPhone. Okay, so I've got a Mac, I've got an iPad and I've got an iPhone. And this is the application that I have downloaded and bought from the App Store. So it's available on my Mac, on my iPad, and on my iPhone. And the brilliant thing is that they all sync together. Okay. So whatever I do on the phone appears automatically on the other two devices. So they say it's a pleasant, focused writing experience combined with effective communicate document management, fast syncing, and flexible export, which makes Ulysses the first choice for writers of all kinds. Okay, so here are some of the features. Uh, Ulysses helps you focus on what you want to say. Um, Ulysses organizes all your projects in one place. Ulysses lets you work anywhere, anytime. Ulysses export lets you create anything. Ulysses is a clean and intuitive workspace. And I do agree with them. So what I'm going to do is, and here are some reviews from some writers. Janice Jacket, uh, Nicholas Jans, and David Yuson. And that's the Ulysses for Mac, and that's the Ulysses for iPad and iPhone. Okay. Now you can go over to their website and <coughs> read more and find out more about what they do. Okay. And I think they'll do a better job than anyone else because they are the owners of the platform. But what I can talk to you about is my experience with Ulysses. So I've got Ulysses here on my desktop and I'm going to click on it. And when I do click on it, this is what I get. Okay. So this is the, the user interface. Okay. I'm going to start with this. So I'm actually writing an ebook. Africans need to start asking the right questions. And I think I talked about this in another video. Okay, but it's an ebook. So what I've done is if you look on the left hand side here, I've got this is actually I think this one should be in another place, but anyway. So I've got chapter zero introduction and this is a book I'm writing. And the name of the book is here. Book one, the Africa we want. So I plan to finish this book by December. So what I've done is I've divided it into 12 chapters. Okay. Starting with chapter one, the introduction, which is that one there. So I've done the introduction and I think I've actually posted this as a blog post on my website, directorformer.com. Okay. It's got all of that. Then chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So I've actually been planning what I'm going to include in chapter two, which is what we want. What does Africa want? Public goods and services, good governance, economic growth and development, affordable healthcare, infrastructure, education, innovation, etc. Okay, so that's book one. Then book two is here the, the African Smart Creatives, book three, Serial Entrepreneurship. Okay, so I can, by the end of 10 years, I, I hope to have written 10 books. Okay, I hope that's achievable. Then I've got eBooks here. So eBook one, how to get started on any project. Okay, these eBooks I'll be publishing on the Kindle, Kindle Direct Publishing. And then I've got eBook two up to eBook 12. So the reason I've got up to ebook 12 because I hope to do 12 ebooks in 12 months. So that's just one ebook a month. 
and I think that's an achievable goal. Um, one chapter a month for my books, and one ebook a month. One ebook a month for my ebooks, which I think is a, achievable. Okay, so that's Ulysses, and this is how I'm using it. Okay. Um, as for my blog posts for 2016, there they are. Okay, so these are all the blog posts. And I, what I do is when I'm confusing, the confusion around bond notes, when I'm uh, titling them, I start with the date, the, with the year, okay, followed by the month and then the day. And then you can see there's the second and then there's the fourth. So I think to make things easier for myself in 2017, I'm going to try for at least one blog post a week. So that should be 52 blogs by the end of the year. Okay, which I think is sufficient because it gives me time to interact with people uh, between each blog post and to do a back and forth and maybe to improve on it because you can always improve on the blog post okay if there's anything to add you can always do that so that's how i'm using Ulysses. if you have any suggestions of how i can improve using it then please let me know i will be doing another application uh, in, the, in my next video okay so this is Ulysses. thank you for listening Name is Derek Tafuma of DerekTafuma.com. I will see you in the next video.